in the town of Fort Laramie, Wyoming. On our way to the historic site of Fort Laramie. Not sure how far out it is, but we'll just leave this rolling and so yeah, Fort Laramie. Uh, what year was it? Uh, 1834, when it was first established, the oldest stockade. And that was a trading post, as I remember, and. It was not called Fort Laramie. It wasn't until the Army. In fact, at one point it was Fort John. You can see the old iron bridge over to the side. I guess that's... Uh, and before that, it was what? Fort William, I think? Fort William, I believe, yeah. That is right. And then in uh, 1890, after the Indian Wars were essentially over, they auctioned it off. Not, didn't, not, didn't say to whom. Yeah, they don't say to them, but obviously the someone preserved it. U.S. Park Service or somebody got a hold of it and preserved it. So if you know your geography, after we leave here, we're headed to Casper, which I guess will be maybe like the center of the state. Yeah, let's look up on the hill, the ruins up there. It's pretty cool. Looks like it's just kind of parking. That's authorized vehicles only. Yeah, so I guess we do a park and walk. All right, we're here on the barracks walk. I believe there's a door open here that we can go in. Or go in and go upstairs, maybe. Hall. It's pretty cool. We'll go up the stairs here. Oh, and lovely private accommodations. A little checkerboard. And there are rifles here which look trapdoor rifles. What I'm going to do today is take about a half hour of your time. Explain this artillery piece, give you the official title of it, break that down. I'll tell you about the kind of rounds it shot, and then I'll tell you how they fired it, you know, the mechanisms they used. This is your ox yoke in front of another Conestoga wagon. Particularly large they weren't. The Mormons chose the more northern path around like Scott's Bluff, but they also couldn't afford, in many cases, any kind of animals, so many had to hand pull their carts. Here's the base post office. That is the general store, huh? Yeah, welcome to the post trader store. It's your Walmart back then. <laughs> really? This was a privately owned and run uh, store contracted to be here through the War Department. Are these authentic labels over here? Yeah, it's uh, everything's reproduction, but yeah. Yeah. Cool. That's your beaver pelt. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Some dandy shoes. And there's the wool coat. All right, and that's the general store. Apparently this is the Lieutenant Colonel's quarters. 
looking through a window here. Little wood stove. Big heavy coat over here. Here's the bedroom. And for what we can see, here it's another bedroom. And another bedroom. And there was a sign back here that, uh, let's see. Oh, back guano. Just looking down the row of buildings here. The one I was just in is the second one down. And of course there's the barracks off in the distance. So as it turns out, this particular building is the oldest standing building in Wyoming and it's called Old Bedlam. It was built in 1849 and apparently it got its name because it was occupied by bachelor officers. I think I'll take these steps up. More glass, but that's okay. Get somewhat of a view. Bedroom. Looks like a buffalo robe at the end of the bed. You get a sort of a utility room of some sort. I'll go down the stairs here. Those old hats are a crack up. Hone in right there. And then back in this corner, there's a Native American shield with a spear. I guess the dining area. All right, so this is the unmarried officer's quarters. There's a lot more buildings here, and uh, I guess I'll leave those for you to come and see for yourselves. Well, that was quite uh, interesting. I thought one of the most interesting things to me was that they, number one, didn't build the wall because they didn't feel they had to with the cannons, and second, that it's sort of a myth that these forts are attacked by raiding parties of, you know, Native American tribes. You walked through that big white building? Yeah. yeah. That was... Uh, Old Bedlam. Old Bedlam, built yeah. to, to house bachelor officers. It's Wyoming's oldest documented building. I think it's pretty they interesting. They already know that. They already know that? <laughs> you already know that? Well... They may already know that. I feel superfluous. Superfluous. Word of the day. Word of the day. She knows I don't usually read anything. Mm -hmm. I just kind of do stuff. So that was the only one I read today. Well, we stopped here in Douglas, Wyoming, largely for her granddaughter. Who's not with us. Who's but... not with us. So we are headed for the historic district here. Beautiful little street. You know, I think Wyoming is absolutely gorgeous. I just don't want to be here in the winter. Yeah. <laughs> that was kind of cool. I don't know what it is here on the right, but it's kind of cool. It's a saloon. Okay, we're here at the Douglas, Wyoming Jackalope, and apparently at one point this was the largest. Not sure if that's in the world or in the U.S. or what. Uh, we're running a little late today, and uh, we did hit Casper, got some gas, some provisions. We didn't look around at all. We're on our way to our uh, camping spot. It has been horrendously windy all the way. In fact, they were reporting on the highway signs of 40 plus mile per hour gusts. And believe me, it's true. My, my gas mileage has gone bad. Well, I will just say it's not very good. A really pretty area coming up here in front of us, and I wish the light was better so you could really see the red. Well, I'm going to wrap up the day. It's uh, really windy here. We're at Chalk Bluffs. That's just south of Casper, Wyoming. It's supposed to be windy in the morning, so there's probably not going to be any drone flying. Tell them about my dinner. Oh, Carol's dinner. <laughs> yes, she cooked uh, chili dogs. Inside. Inside the camper with the wind. And we grated provolone cheese, which changed the taste of chili dogs mightily. 
<laughs> That's one way to put it, right? It's a great day, though. I mean, what did we do? Uh, Scott's Bluff? Uh, that was pretty cool. Too bad it was so hazy with the smoke. It's really cleared up here. Um, I'm going to show you the sunset. I think we're going to have a great sunset tonight. Then Fort Laramie was awesome. I mean, that was great. We didn't get through all of them. But, you know, going through more buildings would have been pretty much the same. Just maybe we would have found the uh, Commandant's quarters. And you all got to see the former largest jackalope. I mean, how many times do you get to see that? You know, stick with us. We're going to show you the sights, man. Tomorrow's going to have some interesting places. Yeah, so thanks for watching. And... We'll catch you either on the next video or we'll catch you in the morning. Uh.